Hi guys, so I'm back to do part two of the canvas. Um, now, if you watched my vlog, you would have seen that I had done this off camera. I wasn't like I liked the background, but it was just too I don't know too bold and too in your face. Um, so I went over it with some white. I watered down white paint because I couldn't find my gesso so I need to buy more gesso actually because the gesso I've got is really rubbish but um, so if you have um, if you're not happy with your background and it's too bold then just um, add some watered down white paper and give it like a wash a uh, white paper white paint and give it like a wash so now I like it it's not completely covered all the details and the colours and it's still it's still nice so for this session I am going to colour add some colour to it and I'm using my ink tens you can use whatever you like you can use um, coloured pencils you can use acrylic paint you can use watercolour anything, you really, anything really that you wish to use you can use it's totally up to you um, that's if you're following along. If you're not following along, then don't use anything. <laughs> but what I've decided as well, just to add a bit more texture. Now, I don't have many um, washi tapes at the moment because I've kind of left most of them at my brother's. Um, so I'm just going to use my black and white ones just now because that's all I really have at hand. Because as you see, I left my other ones at my brother's. Um, so I am just kind of using my black and white at the moment and I'm just going to use it to add a bit more texture in there um, if I had my masking tape I would have used that as well but I don't know where that is either huh. I don't know where anything is at the moment guys so I'm just kind of randomly ripping and placing it on there just to add a bit more detail okay is that one done I'm going to add a wee bit of colour in here with this tape I've just kind of stuck some tape on and I'm going to be like that I kind of put a wee bit of tape on like my drop paper you see you usually where I put like my spare papers and stuff like that and as I say I did have washi um, masking tape around here somewhere but at the moment I don't have a clue what I've done it I don't know so as I say I'm just going to do a wee bit of sticking wee bits of tape down here just to get a wee bit more interest before I start adding some colour. And it needs a wee bit down here too. So there we go. So that's that stage done guys. Um, I get asked what size this canvas is. And I think, I'm sure, like, I've lost a wee bit of paper, but I'm sure it was 20, uh, 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres, I think it was. So it'd be like 30 that way, 40 that way. So, yeah. So now I'm going to add my ink tents, and I don't know what colours I want to do, so I'm just going to do random colours. In fact, I should probably stick to the kind of colours that's in the canvas, shouldn't I? So I'm just going to... And I'm not doing it perfect, guys. I'm just... Because I don't want to, like, cover up all my, um... background. So I'm just adding little bits here and there. Like, especially the edges and stuff, because you want, like, a kind of cool edge. But... Everywhere else, as you can see, I'm just kind of going over it. Like that. And 
nothing perfect, just I it like that. and then I've got blues in there, so I'll stick some blue in. some purple in there because I love purple. Oops. I you even try and get it on that washi tape as well because you want some colour in there as well. So. And I'm just kind of smushing it around my fingers now. But I am going to wear it to activate it as well, but I just kind of want it. But even, uh -huh, even if you don't want to activate it, you can just leave it like that. I kind of like it like that as well, but I do want to activate it to make it feel nice. I'm just hoping it doesn't go too much. And I left my baby wipe in the bedroom, so I'm going to need to wait. Or pause the video and go and get them, but I'll do that in a sec. Uh, I just need to get my brushes out. So I got these big brushes the all day and I thought they'd be ideal for this kind of project. Um, so that is what I'm going to use. Now they're cheap so the, the, the um, bristles might fall out. I'm kind of hoping not but they might. Those guys, wish me luck that this doesn't end up a complete disaster. Can you see the colour starting to activate? So I just want to kind of soak the canvas everywhere. And it looks like it's getting more purple than anything, doesn't it? But that's cool because I like the colour purple. So I'm going to cross about that. Purple's my favourite colour. So that's what I'm doing, I'm just kind of soaking the whole canvas um, because and it shouldn't do much damage to my stuff underneath because I um, added, when I added all the paper and stuff I went over it with like a layer of um, white school glue and gesso and stuff like that so it should kind of protect the paper and I like that. But the only thing is is I didn't go over it with my paint over my paint with it. So the kind of white is kind of coming off and blending in with the blending in with the um, the paint but that's okay too I didn't like think of that I should have put a oops, silly I should have put another coat over so if you're doing the white guys try and put another and um, you are using ink tents or water soluble stuff try and go over it with a cotton mod podge once the paint's dry because if you don't it's going to mix in with your ink tents or watercolours but there's a bit of a mistake in my part there and I kind of want a wee bit more colour up in this corner here so I'm just, I know you can't see this corner but I can and I don't like it's too, um, too plain um, hang on, let's see if I can squeeze, there we go I'm trying to do it so you can see the whole lot but my camera, like as you can see, it is pretty big so I'm sorry if you aren't getting to see the full thing guys. I will show you it when it's done obviously but I'm sorry if you can't really see it at the moment. So yeah, I like that. I like how it's looking because you can still see the paper and all that kind of stuff underneath so I like that. Um, So 
but I'm going to pause guys and I'm going to dry this and just try to spread this out to the edges because it's filled a lot of white there pink here and it's not been activated yet so I'm trying to activate this pink it's at the edge and you want to try and activate it all guys like make sure it's really soaked and activate all activated because if you don't and you want to add a different layer um, then this layer is going to start moving but whereas if you act, make sure it's all activated with ink tens they become permanent so that's why I'm trying to really soak it to make sure I get everywhere activated because if I don't and then I go to add something else then these are going to move so that is why I'm kind of trying to get as much done as I can at the moment to get it all activated I love these ink tents blocks. I just love them. They were a great gift. So there we go guys, I'm just going to pause now and I am going to dry this. Hi guys, I'm back and I'm not liking it. I'm just, I'm not liking it. It's, I like the purple and all that but now it's just too dull for me. So I need to add some more colour to brighten it up, just a wee touch because it's just, I don't like it, it's just too, but it's just too, um, thingy for me so I am just going to add a wee bit more, um, colour, hopefully. Eight, no, it's not working too well either. Is it? Eight, no. Uh, right, okay, so that's not working too well. It's just kind of blending in with the purple because I've got purple on my brush. And it's kind of no cleaning properly, so I need to um, try and clean this brush a bit better. I might need to go and get some more water because my water has turned purple and it's not letting me add much more colour because like everything's just turning purple. Uh oh. So I might need to pause and go and get some decent colours going here. I don't know. Maybe if we try it looks it's wet and it's just I don't want to get rid of the purple completely, I just I want a wee bit more colour in there because it's just too to me it's just too um I know it's not showing up that well on camera, but it is a, a lot better than the bits of blue through it. Well, at the moment it is, I need to try dry it. But just a wee bits of blue down there, it's looking a bit better. Um, maybe some yellow or red in there, I don't know. Right, and add a bit of yellow in places. Let's see if that'll brighten it up a bit. I don't know though. And I'm trying not to get my thing all, oh, as you see, it's getting grubby looking. So I'm trying not to get it as grubby looking. Most of the time, if you just clean it off at the side and some more paper though, it'll clean it off. So I'm just trying to add some more 
kind of warmish colours in here because at the moment it's just looking really bad. Well, I say it's looking really bad, it's not really bad, it's just, for me it's just, it's too dull and, yeah, and I kind of want this for my bedroom and my bedroom's going to be purple when it gets all decorated and at the moment it's kind of, I think it would just totally blend in with the wallpaper, so, hey, that wouldn't be good. Give me two seconds guys, I'm just going to go in and quickly change my water, so I shall be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back and what I'm going to do here is just kind of roll my kitchen roll out and try and pick up some of that wetness, because um, I don't want it too wet at the moment. soak up the wetness and what I've decided is so that I don't need to keep changing my water all the time I thought I would use some baby wipes to activate the see and it, it actually is a lot better look how good that is Look how good that's just activated that. Look. The baby wipes are amazing. So I don't even know why I didn't do it in the first place, but yeah, the baby wipes are really good for activating color. So yeah, so I'm just going to do the baby wipes. I think just to get some of those colours out. But yeah, I'm lighting up. Right. Now guys, look at that. Look how well that spreads. Look at that. For spreading the colour. So I recommend or I suggest that if you are doing this and you are going to use your ink tents, then use a baby wipe rather than a brush because that way you're not having to deal with dirty water every two minutes and then it all messing up with your other colours. So yeah, give it a wipe with a baby wipe because it's really cool. And look at the fun colours you get to play with after. Alright, good. So, yeah. Just be careful that you're not wiping like all your colour off though. Because that's something you don't want is just to don't rub it too hard because then you're gonna wipe the colour off and that'll just be a waste of time. So yeah, I'm liking this a bit better now that I've added um, a bit more colours in here. Just try to cover up these white bits in there with some more of this pink. because it's pretty wet and I don't want to put it in the box it really runs all at me so now I'm just going round getting over that pink that I just done just giving it a wipe and so this wipes nearly done But yeah, that's looking a lot better guys. I'm liking the colour a lot better rather than just that purple. And the purple's still there, you can still see it in places, so 
it's not completely got rid of the purple, it's just added a bit more different colours because the other colours just it be all being purple, I didn't like it, so I wasn't happy and if you're not happy with something, you change it. So yeah, I'm liking it a little bit now, so I'm gonna pause and I, when when I was off camera trying it last time I went down my edges with some purple and intense as well and burn nose. So I didn't want to do it all on camera, so I shall be back. Okay guys, I promise I'll not keep these much longer. Um, what I want to do now is add some splatters onto this, so I'll try to get these in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, it's kind of annoying because it's, it's, the thing is so big that I'm still to fit it all on the screen. So all I'm doing now is getting some of this silver metallic. You just can use any colour, but I like the metallic, so I'm using that. And just get it really wet. And I may have used a bit too much there actually. And I've just dipped my top in it. Oh great. I'm just trying to get this super wet so that and I'm just using a toothbrush guys an old toothbrush or a new one if you want to use a new one it's up to you but I'm just doing it like this and now for the fun part I'm getting the place covered up in paint so I'm just I don't know what right what's the best way to do this. Yeah. So I'm just pointing it down the way like that. And making some splatters. And it's probably splatting everywhere else as well. But I'm trying to keep it close to the, the actual painting canvas as I can so that it doesn't splatter everywhere and that's just really fine splatters which I like as well so it's just really fine you're probably not even putting them up on the camera they're that fine So I've added some more water to my paint. Here it is. Like this. And I've just added more water. So it's a really watery consistency. And now I just do that and kind of drip it on there. But I kind of need a bit more paint because it is really watery now. It's more water than it is paint. This. Get it on there, get it really watery. See, get it really watery, get a good mix. Take your, take your paintbrush. And if you don't want to make it too messy and get paint everywhere, just kind of try and keep it as close as you can so you're not getting paint everywhere. And just kind of drip it on there. And then the fun part, the fun part guys, fun part, I don't just put a on that now. Now that you've got some wrappage, you want to get some wrappage going, look at that, look at that wrappage, do you see it, can you see, 
Yay, dry fridge. Oh, don't miss me. Try to get some milk going this way. No, there's no really any going this way, but yeah, I got some drippage in there. In fact, I'm going to try and get some more drippage because I like that. It's just it's too much water and not enough paint for me. So I need to keep adding more paint in here. I want to kind of use up this paint anyway, so I'm not too fussed. But after this, then I may continue and do some more drippage and stuff, but I will stop the video so I'm not talk to some years old. Now it's too dry. New paint. Now it's too painty. Oh no. Now as you can see all I'm doing is tapping my brush. And we will put this on for a bit because I don't want it spilling everywhere. And get some drippage going there. Oh yeah, can you see it? Mm. Come on, drippage. Oh look at that. Oh yeah, looky looky. So I like that. I really like that a lot. Try and get some down this way. Or is this way I've done it all previously? And get some up this way then. Yeah, but I like it. Look how cool that looks. Can you see? Can you see the shine and the drippage? Oh yeah, I like it. Like it, like it, like it, guys. Now I just don't know what I'm going to do with all this. <laughs> Look, what am I going to do with it all? Maybe, um, maybe paint the edges, get like a, an edging, like a frame. The good thing is, is it's still kind of watery so it's not going to like really stand out. But I am liking that guys. So I'm just going to pause one more time and um, I'll dry this and come back and show you again. And then that'll be the end of this session, I think. I will probably continue, guys, adding more and more stuff on it, like paint and colour, more colour, more splashes, and stuff like that. You can do the same, add as much as you like, or as little as you like, it's entirely up to you. But I just don't want to be keeping these too long. I've already kept these nearly half an hour. So I'm just going to pause this right quick and I'll come back and show you. And then when I feel like it, I'll, I'll add more. Then come back from next week for the next step, guys. So I'll speak to you soon. Ah, uh, well, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got, guys. Uh, let me just try to bring it up so you can see. You see how how it looks. The edges. Look, kind of cool. This is how it looks, guys. Pretty, 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 and it will probably be hung up this way. That is kind of. I think it will be going up this way. So yeah, look at that drippage, super bad. Ooh. So anyway guys, 
I'm gonna go now, so I'll I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Remember to like and subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you like, what you think, and let me know if you are joining in also. Um, and yeah, if you do a video, if you if you have done part one already and you're doing this part and you have video in it. Please leave your link in the description to your videos as well so I can go and check them out. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye!